very much. So tell us, are you happy with the way the team has come together? Yeah, we've uh, become a team of unity. We, we have each other's back when we're on the court. We play together and we communicate probably better than any team I've been on. And do you feel pressure playing in front of your home city, Toronto? Not at, home, not at all. I, this is exciting to be here at home in Toronto and you have that, that home crowd that backs you no matter what when you're up, when you're down, and it gives you a little edge, I think. You know, there's Dion and there's Bo, the two sport athletes. Are you going to be a golf star too one day? I'd love to. I'd have to learn how to play golf a lot better, but it's something that I enjoy playing. Now, you were born in Canada, but raised in the States. Did you feel any divided loyalties as to who to play with? Not at all. No, I, this is something where you know, my mom was a Canadian Olympic athlete for Canada, and uh, I've always wanted to be an athlete like her, and uh, this is getting a, more of a better chance for me to become an Olympic athlete by playing with the Canadian national team. Now, you mentioned your mom. I mean, there's families like the Alomars and the Halls. Who's the better athlete, you or your mom? Uh, well, she's the better track and field athlete. She doesn't play basketball very well, but uh, I think if she would have picked it up at a young age, she'd probably have been a very good basketball player, too. So do you consider yourself a role model? And if so, what type of responsibilities are attached to that? I, don't, I think everybody you know, that, are, that plays a sport you know, has a lot of kids that look up to them, especially if they're good at it. And uh, responsibilities is to you know, con conduct yourself to the best of your abilities, and that is to remember that there are kids that would you know, be very hurt or disappointed if you were to let them down in any way. And uh, that's the way I approach it. So how much of basketball, I mean, people assume that basketball is a physical sport, but how much of it actually relies on the mental aspect? As, as each level grows from high school to college and college to the pros, you know, your level and, and your mental approach has to get a lot better, much more, I think, than your physical. And uh, you see the players in the NBA and guys that play professionally international are, are the players that, that have that mental approach and they've improved from college to the pros and, and, uh, and they've, they've combined the two. They've put the mental and the physical together.